There's two ways to tie a clove hitch, and today I'm gonna show you both. Is this thing even on? Hey, welcome back to the channel, friends. As always, it is good to see you. So Stoker here, and today I'm gonna show you two easy ways to tie a clove hitch. One's time test and proven, the other's what I call the no-bake clove hitch. All right, so the clove hitch is probably one of the most common hitches that's out there. And if you're starting to get into pioneering or you wanna build some furniture, some tripods, things of this nature, this is a launching point to get you moving into that direction. But what is a hitch? A hitch is nothing more than any knot that you can use, man, and there are there are dozens of hitches that are out there that's used to attach your rope to another item. Be a barrel, be a log, could be a tree, could be a trailer, could be a car, could be another piece of rope. You name it, you dream of it, and there's a hitch out there for it. So in this one, I'm going to use a piece of sisal, and uh, it's about 25 feet. You don't need 25 feet. You can use anything uh, that you got. Now, if you noticed, that rope sprung all the way out. You wait till the end. I'll show you how to coil your rope so you can do that every single time. She'll throw all the way out. It's a little extra for you. So clove hitch, here we go. Right, so the normal way to tie a clove hitch is to take your working end around the object that you want to attach it to. And then you bring it over again and you form an X. You keep bringing your working end around and now you're going to feed it underneath the X. And that's all there is to it. Let's do that again one more time. Take your working end of your rope, bring it around the object that you want to attach it to. In this case, it's just a log. Bring it around again, forming an X. Bring that working end around again and bring it underneath both sections of rope. And that's all you got. Right, but there's another super easy way that you can make the clove hitch. We'll call this the no-bake clove hitch. Say you have an object that you want to attach your rope to. In this case, it's just a cut-off branch on this tree. And I don't want to wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. So all you're going to do is you're going to take that rope and you're going to make a loop. Laying it over your working end just like that, right? See that? Now you're going to take it in and you're going to coil and bring it up underneath. Now you can place it right over the end of it like this and tie it, bam. Let's look at that again. All right, so just take your rope and make a small loop and then lay it over that working end just like that. Take that end again and you're gonna make a coil but this time you're gonna bring it underneath. Now you form that X, bam. Money in the bank. All right, so whether you're trying to make a fire tripod or you want to make some furniture, some stands, a ladder, whatever it is, the clove hitch is going to be one of the hitches that you're going to use in 90% in of your pioneering projects. So it's a great one to have in your kit bag and, and grow on it from there. And as you can see, it is just super easy to tie. All right, and then make sure you stay tuned for some future episodes of uh, Not Today, and I'll show you some other knots and lashings and, and hitches that you can put into your kit bag so that you can make all kinds of awesome projects when you're out in the field. But now I need to show you how I coiled my rope so I could throw it out and it wouldn't be a tangled mess. Right, and so all you're gonna do is you're gonna start with however big of a loop that you want, right? Most people curl their robes or whatever like this and what happens is it becomes a jumbled mess and when you go to unfurl it or throw it out, you get knots. Look at that, look at that. That's no bueno. Now we don't want that. We want it to be straight with no knot. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take however big you want. All I need this is about, you know, eight, 10 inches. And you're gonna start making a loop. Now the next one, this is where it gets tricky, but it's not that tricky. It's almost like, it's almost like a clove hitch. You're gonna take and you're gonna coil that rope, but you're gonna twist it. You're basically making a little coil there. See what I did? So this one is regular, and this one, bring it and twist it up underneath, and then make it however big that you need.
Right, and so now when you get ready to throw this thing out, it's gonna throw out straight just like that every single time. All right, everybody, so that's gonna do it for today. Let me know what you think about this clove hitch. If you used one before, if you wanna throw it in your kit bag, and or maybe you have another way to tie it, and, now, and there's three ways. There's a way that I don't know about, which is extremely possible because Stoker don't know everything. And also, let me know what you think about coiling your rope like this. How do you coil your rope? Leave some comments down below so we can keep this conversation rolling. I, I'm telling you, it's you all are the ones who are bringing a lot of depth and experience experience to the conversation for other people that when they come to the channel to check out some stuff they're learning from you as well and it's not just it's not just me and uh and whatever my big mouth has to say hey i appreciate the time that we have uh together hope your new year is going well and as always until then we'll see you